purpose of life is not to be safe. The purpose of life is to live it. Now back to where is my caller? What happened to her? Yes, there we go. Christine, Elmira, New York. Correct? Is that, was I with you? Yes. Uh-huh. Good. Hi. I want to thank you, first of all, for your show, because I think it's a, a breath of sanity amongst the insane. But um, That's what I think. I have... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, curiously enough, they keep counting all these numbers of deaths. So I went to the actual CDC site and started looking at numbers, and I was really surprised that the numbers being reported for coronavirus deaths versus what the CDC is publishing are vastly different. Um, I'm looking at coronavirus deaths reported by the CDC as of uh, May 2nd, were 47,128 out of a total of almost 800,000 people who died during that period of time. So it's, you know, not a, a huge percentage of the total deaths that mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but, and, and wait, wait, is, wait, so where, hold where on. Are we getting the six right. So you went to the CDC, got that number. Where did you get a different number? Well, I got a different number. People keep saying, oh, there's been 66,000. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that, all right. Well, so you're right. I mean, that would mean, if you're right, that would mean 20,000 people died since May 2nd. It is now May 8th. Yeah, and that's not possible. That's not well, possible. Well, I, I don't know the answer. It's a, I, I don't go to the CDC. I go to world meter uh, for for the world and the U.S., but I'll look into that, and I thank you very much. All righty, everybody. And uh, Sacramento, California, and Stephen. Hello. Hi, Dennis. Hi. Uh, let me take you off of uh, speed here. Good. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Dennis. You, you know how you often say you can tell the difference between a liberal and a leftist by asking how they feel about co-ed or uh, segregated dormitories? Yes. I think going uh, in the future and getting away from this COVID, uh, this coronavirus, I think you'll be able to tell a different thing by just looking at a person. I think you'll be able to tell whether they're a Republican or not just by looking at them. And here's how you'll be able to do it. The further we get away from the corona, the non-Republicans will continue wearing masks. And if you really want to be sure, walk up and ask them to uh, try to shake their hand. And if they shake their <laughs> if they shake your hand, they're, they're a Republican. <laughs> He's right. That's why I'm laughing. If, when I see somebody, I live in Southern California. I, li I live, uh, well, actually where I live is secondary to where I work. I, I broadcast from Glendale, California, which is outside of Los Angeles. And the Glendale City announced, and I played it for you. I got this message on my phone even you have to wear a mask even when walking your pet got a kick out of that and so uh, if i see somebody walking their pet without a mask i assume that the person is conservative or republican that's right he's right isn't that a fascinating thing and, and by the way I believe that Democrats Face and... coverings are now required any time you leave your home. This includes going on a walk, picking up essential goods, or walking your pet. Thank a you. face covering is not the same... That's right. There you go. No, I always got a kick out of the pet line. I know. people. You, look, what, you, have, a, you have a pet uh, rabbit, if I'm not mistaken. When you walk your rabbit... Uh, uh, Bensington, right? Is his name Bensington? Strange name for a rabbit, I have to say. Strange to even have a rabbit as a pet. But look, he's strange. Uh, you know, what am I going to say? By the way, strange is good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. I'm going to give you a serious point now that will blow thy mind. I'm very, uh, totally serious. I, I believe that the study of good people is more important than the study of evil people because I believe evil is natural and goodness is not. Wow. 
So wait. You just wrinkle my brain. Know, no, I'm going to wrinkle your brain with the point I'm going to make. So I, I read. I've read a lot on who are the non-Jews who saved Jews in the Holocaust, because that the rescue. That's a very risky thing to have done. That it's an unbelievable person. And one of the criteria in a book I read many years ago. I wish I, I remembered the book. I read it in a bookstore. I, I didn't have much money then. I read the, much of the book in the bookstore. Is it the Harvard Coop? Anyway, I it said people who were considered eccentric were more likely to be among the rescuers. Isn't that interesting? In other words, they were considered eccentric before the war. And I totally buy that. I totally buy that. I uh, Now, I'm not talking mental illness. I'm talking eccentric. In other words, people who, who don't conform, who don't, uh, don't march to the beat of the drummer. I am frightened by the sheep-like behavior I'm seeing in my fellow, many of my fellow Americans. Do, you think are not Do I think eccentrics are not wearing masks? I would say that that, that is more likely. Yeah, that's a very good point. Although their eccentricity might be a uh, great desire to be safe. I mean, obviously, and anything is possible. But the man was right. There's, there's, a, there's a huge, uh, obviously, there's a huge difference here. We, we, uh, we conservatives, we fear less. Incidentally, uh, it, what, what a great statement. We're living through something unique to America. It is the religious who are most adamant about freedom, which is exactly how America was founded. The Liberty Bell has a verse from the Bible, the Torah to be precise. <laughs> 